Simplify. The third root of 16x to the fifth, y to the fourth. There are a few different ways to simplify radicals, and I'm going to look at two different ways right within this first uh, problem. So first, let's rewrite this as the third root of 16 multiplied by the third root of x to the fifth times the third root of y to the fourth. Okay, when you just have a number, uh, you're going to look for numbers that you could factor out that are perfect cubes. So just like we, when we have a, pr a square root, you're looking for numbers that are perfect squares that you can factor out. So let's see, I'm going to write down here perfect cubes. Make a list of some perfect cubes, meaning they are the result of multiplying something by itself to the third power, multiplying something by itself three times. So 1 to the third equals 1, 2 to the third equals 8, 3 to the third equals 27, and so on. 4 to the third is 64. Well, this one is something that we can factor out, this 8. 8 is a factor of 16. So I'm going to rewrite that as the third root of 8 multiplied by the third root of 2. We just multiplied 8 times 2 to get 16. On the variables, I'm going to do it just a little bit differently. I'm going to look at uh, rewriting this as a rational exponent. So if you have an exponent of 5, that goes in the numerator of the rational exponent, and an exponent or and a root of 3, that goes in the denominator of the rational exponent. So this would be x to the 5 thirds. And then y would be y to the 4 thirds. Okay, back to the numbers. The third root of 8 is 2. So I have 2. And I know this third root of 2 is going to be tagging along. I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and write it. Third root of 2. And then x to the 5 thirds. Let's uh, turn this mixed number, or this, I'm sorry, turn this improper fraction into a mixed number. And I'm going to make this x to the first times x to the two-thirds. That is one and two-thirds, because when you multiply like bases, you add the exponents. So I just pulled that apart. And I'm going to do the same thing with the y's. y to the first times y to the one-third. So I, I turned this y into, uh, or I, I pulled this exponent apart into a mixed fraction, or mixed mixed number. Okay, let's rewrite all of this back together. It's all going to be the 2 and the x and the y. Those are going to stay outside of the radical. I, they do not need a radical because they do not have a denominator in the fraction. Then multiplied by the third root of 2 times x squared, because that's what's left in the numerator there, times y to the first, because that is what is in that numerator. So that's one way, we looked at a couple of different ways, to simplify that radical. So we uh, use the properties of rational exponents to write it as a rational exponent, break the rational exponent apart as a mixed number, and then put this stuff that had a rational exponent back under the radical. All right, back up in B. I actually would like to just multiply these out first. Since these are the same root, they're both the second root, if you don't see a, a number written there um, in the index, that's what that little number over here is called, it's assumed that it's a square root. So I'm just going to multiply those right out and 
just get the square root of 36 x to the fifth because multiplying like bases you add the exponents y to the seventh square root of all of that all right square root of 36 is 6 so I'm gonna I'm gonna factor this out square root of 36 multiplied by the square root of x to the fourth I'm factoring out now this is kind of a shortcut of what I did in the first problem I'm factoring out perfect square so in other words I'm factoring out um, positive or even exponents but I have to multiply that by x to the first of course we can't just change x to the fifth into x to the fourth so but x to the fourth times x to the first is x to the fifth and now I'm going to factor out the greatest even exponent. That would be y to the sixth and times the square root of y. Because y to the sixth times y is y to the seventh. Okay, square root of 36, that's 6. The square root of x to the fourth, that's just, um, that cuts that in half. And I'm going to show this. That's 4 over 2, written, that, written as a rational exponent. Because again, this is an exponent or uh, an index, a root of 2, if we don't see it in there. It's implied that it's 2. So, just to give an example of why that cuts that exponent in half, it's, it's uh, 4 over 2. This is the numerator over the denominator of 2, the second root. Okay, let's rewrite this now. x squared, and I've got the square root of x. I'll write that at the end. I've got y to the 6. That's going to be cut in half. So that's y to the third. The square root of y to the sixth is y to the third. And then what's left under the radical is x and y. x to the first and y to the first. So if you, uh, if you missed any of that, please rewind because I know that there are some steps that you want to make sure you have straight before you go on with simplifying radicals.